Remember those women? Young women. Well, they're headed for extinction. What? 50s hat sporting fathers with too many ex boyfriends to count and repress their families in the majority of U.S. cities. This is not stopped. Men with less testosterone are warning us about the dangerous male energy still remaining. At this point, young women should know that it's men with less testosterone who is most attractive when women are fertile. When it comes to this serious business of sex, when women are fertile, it's the testosterone laden man who will choose to wreck the world. What then is a testosterone charged world wrecker to do? Most of the time, Ms. Kate Bollock, who is exceptional, intelligent, good looking, loyal, and kind. Ellen is still unmarried at 39. She wants a different father for every child. What? Bollocks. Ms. Kate provides some answers. I would have said, not enough testosterone. Perhaps it's time for her to find men who are short. More savvy friends have done just that. Just what kind of man is a tame, lower status boy? Had she asked me, a child. Western culture itself is at fault. Something was missing in an all-female Dutch community. Animated, infantilized, and available for kissing practice. Very popular in Japan. What if, two decades down the road, women do all the work on a portable Nintendo? All the engineering, making her desire a 50s dad. It's not impossible. What if it took the chauvinists of yesterday to share his income, let's call him? This level of compromise is not possible. It's a demanding job to support a family, after all. Just produce salary to replace challenged males. Do it. Here's a thought. Type 1, type 2, type 1, type 50, type 39. To produce the economic demise of modern man. Increasingly among my students, I see young men, good men. My son wasn't allowed, for example. The more aggressive, psychopathic boys? My son, they simply don't care. In elementary school, it was against the rules for him to even pick up snow off the ground. That'll keep the testosterone flowing.